Assalamualaikum, welcome back guys with another video tutorial from Asif Biological Science. In this video tutorial, we will study about plasma or cell membrane. Plasma or cell membrane के बारे में इस topic में हम पढ़ेंगे. So suppose we sleep in cool, cold room. A cold room में सर्द room में उसमें हम सोते हैं. And we roll up a blanket over us. So why we roll up a blanket over us? Because it give us warm it keep us keep us warm this blanket which we roll up over us keep us warm so this plasma membrane also protect it is the outermost bond in animal cell which is protect the inside material from outer side outer material from outer environments changes of our which occurs in outer environment so this cell membrane which protect this inner side inner side materials from outer outer environment so what we call it is plasma when we go inside this cell we find the fluid the fluid which means which is called plasma so cell membrane is also known as plasma membrane because when we go inside the cell we will find the fluid inside the cell so that fluid is called plasma so plasma membrane is also this is the membrane the part of endomembrane system this is the membrane which is called cell or plasma membrane the structure of this the basic structure the basic structure of this cell membrane is described as a fluid mosaic model described as fluid mosaic this is because the structure of the membrane is flexible and fluid filled the structure of this membrane is flexible and also there are a lot of fluid and also made up of variety of molecules this fluid mosaic mosaic model is flexible and made up of variety of molecules we combine to form what the fluid mosaic model this fluid mosaic model proposed by two scientists as this singer and another one is g n nicholson in 1972 according to that the them according to them that this cell membrane is the sea of lipids is the sea of phospholipids in which the protein is floating that this is the sea of lipids that this plasma membrane is the sea of lipids in which protein is floating जिसमें प्रोटीन क्या होते फ्लोर तैरते हैं देर आर मैनी टाइप ऑफ मालिक्यूबल्स इन द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ सेल मेम्ब्रेन विच इज द कार्बोहाइड्रेट कार्बोहाइड्रेट आल्सो प्रेजेंट कोलेस्ट्रॉल विच इज द मेन कंपोनेंट एंड आल्सो प्रोटीन अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर देम If there are twenty to forty percent of lipid is present in the formation of plasma membrane for the mosaic model, and eighty to sixty percent of protein, eighty to sixty percent of protein take place in the formation of plasma membrane. So let's see the structure of this plasma membrane for the mosaic model. There is a molecules which is known as we know the structure of plasma membrane. There is a phospholipid molecule. The phospholipid has a phosphate polar head. This is the phospholipid molecule. This is the polar head of phospholipid of phosphate group. This is the phosphate group. which attached with the tail of lipid with the tail of fatty acid glycerol group this phospholipid molecules combine with each other as in blanket there is a head towards the polar region 
So this is the polar region and this is the non-polar tail which is made up of fatty acid glyc and glycerol group which is lipid. This is head phosphide group made up of phosphide group the head of phosphide group which is the polar and also is the hydrophilic water loving attracted by water and this is the hydrophobic tail which is non-polar and made up of lipids fatty acid mainly fatty acid and glycerol group which is the hydrophobic water hating repelled by water so this molecule will make the structure of this plasma membrane. This phospholipid molecules combine at tail end, non-polar tail and polar head. And thus it form the bilipid layer. One towards the inner surface and other one towards the outer surface. This is the Floyd Mosaic model. That they, they, it is the sea of lipids in which the protein is floating. So this is the phospholipid bilayer. This is the bilayer of phospholipids. This is the structure. This phospholipid bilayers know another type of molecule which is the protein. There are mainly two types of protein tactless in the formation of cell membrane. One is the integral, are also known as intrinsic protein, also known as permease. This integral protein is of many types. One is the alpha helix, and second one is the globular protein, which is also is the intrinsic. What does mean intrinsic? The name intrinsic means it is embedded between the lipid molecule. It is embedded between the lipid molecule. Lipid molecule will give me an intrinsic protein means it, it is embedded between the lipid molecule. So let's see the function of this integral protein. What is the function of this integral protein? This integral protein are also known as intrinsic protein it make the cell membrane as permeases it allow the transport of molecules allow the transport of ionic substances like sodium potassium chlorine calcium etc means is it make as permeases the cell membrane allow the diffusion process osmosis active transport transportation of the molecule inside and outside of the cell caused by the integral protein also known as channel protein suppose there is sodium which is necessary the sodium present to the outer side outer surface of the cell present to the and necessary for the cell so this integral protein come transport into the cell this sodium transport inside to the cell by this integral so thus this channel will be known as sodium channel will be known as sodium channel suppose there is a potassium which is needed for our excess or in excess amount inside the cell will be transported out to the outside by this integral protein so this is the function which of integral protein which make the cell as the cell membrane as permeas the type of protein which is present on the surface of this cell membrane on the surface of this cell membrane attached with the phosphide group either to the inner side or either to the outer side which is known as extrinsic protein also known as peripheral protein also known as surface protein what is the function of this extrinsic protein
this extrinsic protein work as receptor suppose there is sodium is present so this sodium is a stimuli for this cell membrane so this is the extrinsic protein which receive this stimuli and give signal to the cell and the cell responses to that stimuli according to the signaling if the sodium necessary for this necessary for the cell it signal to the integral protein to transport in the sodium so the integral protein become open and the sodium transport into the cell this is the function of extrinsic protein as work as receptor receptor site another type of which are present as carbohydrate carbohydrate molecule <coughs> if this carbohydrate attached with this protein is called glycoprotein if attached with lipid the tail the hydro phobic tail attached with this lipid called as glycolipid glycolipid character so what is what is the function of this glycolipid and glycoprotein the function of this carbohydrate is it is the hormonal receptor site hormonal receptor site work as hormonal receptor site so, suppose nerve impulses this nerve impulses received by this glycolipids or glycoprotein this carbohydrate or there are some antigen antigen present outside of the cell so this about this antigen in food it received it is seen by this carbohydrate and signal it to the cell and cell, cell respond to that the antigen suppose there are some food present to the outside so this the signaling about this food received by given by this carbohydrate to the cell and cell respond to that food as they work as act as endocytosis endocytosis there are two types phagocytosis and pinocytosis this carbohydrate also act as endocytosis if there is food is present so this glycolipid a signal into the cell and cell respond to that signals to that stimuli and this carbohydrate attached with this food and thus eat by cell as like phago phago means eating cytosis means cell eating of cell pinocytosis pino means drinking drinking of cell suppose this there there is some fluid present some fluid present this is received by this glycolipid or glycoprotein and giving give signal to the cell cell respond to that stimuli and if necessary for the cell then this cell drain this fluid by the carbohydrate so this is the function of carbohydrate another type is the cholesterol 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 is a type of is a type of steroid which help the cell membrane which help the cell membrane in entry 
एंड एग्जिटिंग एग्जिटिंग ऑफ मालिक फीवर सपोज दिस इज द सेल मेंबर है दिस इज द साइटोप्लाजम इनर सर्फेस ऑफ द सेल एंड दिस इज द आउटर सर्फेस some are given this which are not necessary for the cell so here cholesterol is form is present it form a sac like structure so these extrinsic molecules taken by this cholesterol this is the, the another function as suppose this is the bilus come inside <coughs> the cell membrane By the cell membrane, so the cholesterol, mega structure, a pouch-like structure, a sac-like structure. So these virus taken by this cholesterol not maybe into the not cytoplasm of the cell, and then again exit from the cell. So the entering and exiting of molecule from the cell help by the cholesterol. So let's see know the rule and function of the cell membrane. this was the structure so let's see the rule and function of the cell membrane so study about the rule and function of cell membrane so this is the some rule and function of cell membrane as we know that cell membrane is the dynamic structure and it present a barrier between the movement the present a barrier it is a barrier a barrier has suppose this is our cell membrane this is the outer surface and this is the inner surface which is the cytoplasm so this cell membrane is a barrier between the movement for the movement of ionic and movement of ions and molecules for what type of molecule particularly the polar molecules what are soluble molecule which is the glucose amino acid this amino acid and glucose repel by the non polar lipids non polar tail of lipid as i told to you that this is the non polar tail this is the non this non polar tail repel the water soluble glucose and amino acid which is the polar water soluble so when it's when the movement of ions and molecule is necessary by this moment is necessary on maintaining of these ions and molecule inside or outside of cell is necessary so there are some reasons there are some reason these are these are in which first one the first one reason is to obtain nutrients to taking nutrients from that molecules and ions so thus it this cell membrane transport inside the Inside the cell, this transport these ions and molecules inside the cell to obtain the nutrient. The second one is to excrete waste, <coughs> as some as waste material produced inside the cell. So excreting of these waste material like urea and uric acids, also uh, other nitrogenous wastes. So uh, excreting of these wastes is also caused by the this. cell membrane it is a barrier for the movement of this molecule so this excretion of this waste molecule is necessary be done by the cell membrane third number is to secrete useful substances like hormones and enzyme so secretion of this hormone for the particular function for the function of a, for the particular function of the cell so this releasing of these hormones enzymes are also maintained by cell membrane the balancing of ionic gradients this ionic gradients balancing of this ionic gradient is very necessary for nerves nerve nerves and muscular activity as nerve activity suppose this is the this is the nerve so this ionic gradients go out and in when the signal signal goes to from the central body of neuron or towards the central towards the central body or go in this axon so this ionic gradients like sodium mainly sodium and potassium this go inside and outside of the cell membrane of this nerve cells 
So this is also very necessary. Five number to maintain suitable pH and heat. Yes, five number to maintain suitable pH and also heat. Inside, as we roll up the blanket to heat, to heat of, of our, our body. So thus, the cell membrane also acts act like this to maintain the heat of this cell. As I suppose the heat of cell is. 20 degree or 16 degree so no any type of organelle act or perform their function the heat and pH is so necessary suppose the pH of some enzyme so pH of some enzyme, enzyme is 2 the pepsin, pepsinogen the pH of pepsinogen is 2 so this pepsinogen activate this Pepsin or gene or pepsin activate in the pH of 2. If the cell has pH of 2, then the pepsin active and act on protein part of food and break down the protein part of the food. So it maintain the suitable pH and it also ionic concentration. This is a concentration essential for activity of many enzymes. So if you people like the video, so please subscribe the channel, also share the channel and please press the bell icon. Thank you.